Hey everyone, today I'm at Lake Optima and this was a disastrous project from the Army Corps of Engineers. They spent millions of dollars trying to create this and maintain it for years and years. Nothing came of it. The water level didn't get remotely close to where it was supposed to be. And it was disastrous for the Army Corps of Engineers, the state of Oklahoma, and the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife. There's really not much reason to come out here because there is no wildlife really much to speak of, not to hunt. There's not much deer, there's not much waterfowl, nothing. There's no water. They don't have anything to, they don't have a reason really to be out here. So, just thought I would show you around. It's kind of sort of an abandoned lake, which is a little different. Now that over there is the dam. And what they had planned on, you can see kind of a line that's up there. That line was to, supposed to be where the water level was, but it never reached that level at all. Um, this is just a disastrous project that never went as planned. This is a dry barren area up here in the panhandle and then the water that was flowing through with the river was actually sort of being used back upstream the other way I think in Colorado or something so it never had the water flow into this area to even dream about being filled up. So normally well, I say normally, there was never any normal. This is the normal right here. But according to what they had planned, if we had driven in here like this and everything went how they planned it, we would currently be underwater. So in other words, there wouldn't even be a road right here had this lake went as planned. This was sort of the park office or ranger station is what this was. So they have this parking area here for visitors. Kind of maybe sort of a visitor station as well. And this is the dam right along through here. They used to allow you to drive across that thing, I believe, but it's closed now. So the last time I saw this, which was probably, oh, 12, 13 years ago, it was, uh, looked like it was not being used but it looked like it, they had not maintained it in a year or two. Now it looks like they have not maintained it since that last time I was here. Hopefully, once again, there are no snakes. Hop over that, hope I don't get bit. But uh, you can see where people have tried to break in there. This right here used to have a map of the lake and uh, it was severely faded. There's nothing in here now. People busted that all out. It's one of those areas. I guess they've tried to bust that too. But it's one of those areas where no one is out here. Some kind of old communications tower. So uh, since no one's out here, People think that they can do whatever they want. And like I said, the last time I was out here, it was the first time I'd ever been out here. And um, I've heard that they tore up the facilities in 2010. So I'm gonna look and see if there are any out here, but people would dump their deer carcasses and stuff like that out in the little picnic areas and the restrooms. Now those facilities, uh, had never really been maintained as far as I know because the whole lake was just an absolute complete disaster. Let's see if we can find any remnants of at all of those. Notice right there there's an old pump. So this is the back side of the dam. You can see this is the spillway here. And there's a lot of moss in there. There is some water here, not much. And then over there, that looks like one of those systems that you can uh, go across and you'd have to be authorized, one of the park rangers or something like that. But 
that's what they would have planned that for to get to the other side over there because there's not really a way to drive up over there so they would have taken that and just ridden a cable across there is what that looks like to me take a look at this sign right here and since there's no park rangers or anything like that out here there's not much regulation or anything now this is still uh, public hunting property and stuff like that but I tried hunting it once and uh, didn't have any luck at all and I think it's just because people have went over their limits or whatever else I don't know plus uh, I know that the Department of Wildlife wasn't doing anything to help maintain any of that so but that's a speed limit sign right there just ridden with bullet holes so I think people just come out here and maybe drink and shoot or sight in their rifles. I'm not sure. There's a uh, picnic bench right there and it's designated with a number two. This right here, which is on the spillway side of the dam, these would have been camping spots for like your RV. You'll notice here this little drive and it just kind of backs up to a parking block but um, I'm not sure if anyone really ever used these maybe when it first opened they used them but they haven't been used since but there's some over on the other side and uh, you can see some parking blocks right there that's just additional parking so like if you had an additional car beside your RV trailer or RV, something like that, your fifth wheel, then you would park there. So these things are just falling apart. Plus, I think people come out here and probably shoot at them, tear them up, all kinds of stuff, but they're disappearing. So this is a good shot of one of the campgrounds right here. Number 20 is what it says on that bench. And then you'd back your trailer up right there. And there's another picnic bench and it's been busted up. You can see where someone's lifted the little piece of cement off. And then take a look at this yield sign ridden with bullet holes. Surprisingly, there's not too much in that one way sign. Just a couple, and then it's been peppered with a shotgun. So there's a gate when you get to the dam area now, and it has these signs, and they're pretty new looking compared to what would be out here normally. Safety zone, and it, it says no shooting, no hunting, and no entrance. But you can't drive out there anymore. Now there. There's good reason for that. As you can see, the roads have grass growing through it, um, where that one time they probably tarred that to keep the grass from growing, but they are not maintaining the roads and haven't been for decades. And they're certainly not maintaining this dam. So if it crumbles or whatever all else, it, it is sort of a safety issue. Right straight ahead, you, you can notice that there's a, a sandy looking area there sometimes that has some water in it but for the most part it looks like that a lot of times it has to be a really heavy year of rain and uh, the reason why I came here is someone had told us that that was a big waterfowl area and what I thought was strange about it is that you didn't have to use steel shot see anytime that you're around water Normally you got to use steel shot, so here they didn't care if it was lead. But since I had heard that it was a big waterfowl area, I decided to come try it. What I found was there was only a little bit of water down there, and there wasn't much waterfowl at all. It was a complete waste of time to travel here. But I felt bad because the first time that I saw this place, I thought, man, is this what happens when we don't take care of our... Uh, land and we don't take care of our uh, resources is that they just dry up and wither away and here we are using lead shot and stuff 
Now there's still a lot of that that shouldn't be used here and stuff, but granted, um, you know, they're not using any of this water like they wanted to for crops and for drinking and stuff like that. This was supposed to be an effort to have water in the area in case there was ever another dust bowl type situation and uh, it failed. So this, this is kind of the most that you will ever see is that, that whole sandy area out there will kind of have just a thin layer of water out there. But I mean, it's, and you just keep driving down this road and eventually I believe that you can get to it out there. Now it gets pretty rough um, and I am in a four wheel drive and I think I could probably make it, but you can see there's no water down there. And, and like I said, the first time that I came out here 12, 13 years ago, it wasn't worth it then. And I think there's actually a less water now than what there was then. So I'm going to just turn around and head back up, but I just wanted to show you this right here and how we should be underwater if this had went as planned. Now this is just a road that is a turnaround lookout area and they had some parking here and then of course they put this fence here so that you don't fall over into the water the pretend water and I don't know if they had some kind of restrooms right here it looks like bathroom tile like those were restrooms I think there might have been, and like I said, they've been actively spending money to tear that up because it was hazardous, which makes you wonder why they don't just sell this off or um, do something else. Look at the drop-off right there. That's quite a cliff. And like I said, the most you'll ever see is that kind of sandy dirt area. It'll be filled with water, I guess. But I've literally never seen anything more than like that area filled with water and then maybe a patch right out here. That is quite a drop off right there. But all of this, everything where these big huge trees are, it was all supposed to be water going way up over that way. But nope, never worked pretty crazy and this is just a dry area zoom in there you can see the dam and that cliff right there it's super windy and I do have a windsock mic but hopefully it's not blowing through that because it's extremely windy right here. I'm curious though as to what the deepest level of water ever was for this. But it, it's a sad project and definitely a black eye on the Army Corps of Engineers. Way off in the distance, you can see that little plateau cliff thing right there. And then the water line, or what should be the upper water line of the dam. We're clear over on the other side. And there used to be these park benches right here, these kind of picnic benches. This was sort of a another campground area, but meant for more like... Uh, getting bit by horse flies again boy they love me today but this was meant for more like your camp camping for tents sorry I'm getting bit by horse flies but there was a park bench here and this would have been more for your tents and camping that way and then I believe that there were some restrooms or something there there's kind of a parking thing there but those have all been taken down it's really just the ones on the other side where the spillway are is that's the only ones uh, they have not been torn up so far yeah this, this is just another little tiny parking area and there's a sidewalk up through the middle that probably would have went to some more restrooms there since this is some tent camping but there's nothing left at all 
of hard now I know this is kind of hard to imagine but that's one big parking area right there and the I know this is kind of hard to imagine but that's one huge parking area right there it's just overgrown with grass but the reason for it is this right here and you really have to use your imagination on this as well this was the boat dock where you would load your boat because all of this was supposed to have water the problem is this boat dock never got used as you can see it was a double lane boat dock you could load on either side and uh, probably the water was supposed to come up about halfway up where this uh, ramp is but it never made it so this was a it's essentially an unused boat ramp right here and you can see people have driven down and created a trail that's what this was this is supposed to be more of the uh, I guess shallower part of the lake as you look up over from that way and uh, load your boat here and have fun so anyways just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys this disastrous project even though it's disastrous it was still cool to come and look at it um, I'll probably never come back here again uh, when I came here before I wasn't making videos and that was years ago and I was just trying to hunt it but this time wanted to see what was left and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it I know it's a little different I don't think anyone else has documented this but if they have oh well this is what it looks like now anyways so thanks for joining me on this little adventure. We'll see you guys next time. It's a big old grasshopper on the windshield, but I was trying to just film this and show you that those are parking spots right there because you can see the parking blocks. And I'm still driving through uh, what was either day use or overnight tent camping areas just to try to see if there's any remnants at all and how much they've tore up. Now, the last time I was here, there was a bunch of stuff that was just breaking apart because it wasn't maintained. You know, once it was built in the 70s, they never did anything else because the water line never came close. So they, it was falling apart slash being torn apart. And like I said, people were dumping their uh, trash and dead deer carcasses from when they went hunting out here, all kinds of stuff couple things in well I found a couple things in this upper area there's a picnic bench there and then right up over here there's another picnic bench and these appear to be more like what you would see if you had an RV as well um, just a different area for the RV or fifth wheel campers that picnic bench looks pretty pretty good though One of the few last remaining ones. Can't find any signs of any restrooms left out here at all other than that one area that had a tile floor.